What is up, YouTube.com? It's your boy, John McGarrett Deck, with another episode of How to Grow Wealth. And uh, I know I've been kind of missing days. Uh, I was trying to do, uh, stay to one piece of content a day. And I missed that because this is kind of a tough channel to keep up with because it's not really performing. So I'm having mental blocks here. But also, um, if anybody's watching this, like uh, I won't be able to post content for a few weeks because I have a job to go down to uh, my grandma's to help my uncle tear down a barn for her. And um, it'll be about three weeks. So the uh, uploading is going to either halt or be severely limited to maybe like once a week or something along the lines of that. Or maybe I'll do some shorts or I don't know, whatever. Uh, but let's just, with that being said, thanks for everybody who's watching this far, even though this channel is kind of dead. Um, maybe there's one person out there, who knows? This is uh, How to Grow Wealth, Episode 8. We are on Proverbs 7 of the NIV, Warning Against the Adulterous Woman. Okay. Adult, whatever. I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna... I was about to say, like, you could think of this as, like, adulterous men, too. And, yes, just a warning against adultery. Like, it's not, it's not necessarily... Um, harp too much on the language chosen for the uh, authors of this though because I mean whatever not a big deal uh, my son keep my words and store up my commands with you keep my commands and you will live guard my teachings as they are the as the apple of your eye bind them on your fingers write them on the tablet of your heart say to wisdom you are my sister and to insight you are my relative they will keep you from the adulterous woman from the wayward woman with her seductive words um Yes. So like it's, it's saying it's repeating this, this, like I said before in other episodes, if you watch anything up to here, uh, this repeats multiple times about, uh, repeating to try to till your soil, your spiritual soil, your mental soil to get this to stay with you. It, uh, trying to plead with you from their point of view that you need to look out. All right. At the window of my house, I looked down through the lattice. I saw among the simple, I noticed among the young men, a youth who had no sense he was going down the street near her corner, walking along the direction of her house at twilight as the day was fading, as the dark of night set in. Then out came a woman to meet him, dressed like a prostitute with a crafty intent. She is unruly and defiant. Her feet never stay at home, now in the street, now in the squares. At every corner she lurks. She told, she took hold of him and kissed him. And with a brazen face she said, Today I fulfilled my vows, and I have food from my fellowship offering at home. So I come out. I came out to meet you. I looked for you, and I found you. I have covered my bed with colored linens from Egypt. I perfumed my bed with myrrh, aloes, and cinnamon. Come, let's drink deeply of love till morning. Let's enjoy ourselves with love. My husband is not at home. He has gone on a long journey. He took his purse filled with money, and he will not be home till full moon. So this is describing a character of somebody who's like of this type or whatever. I mean, like this sounds like it's coming straight from a personal experience as well. So it's totally. Um, Within the realm of possibility, I believe from this era too. Um, dressing like a prostitute um, probably happened. There's there was probably brothels. I mean, it's old school Jerusalem or whatever. And back in the uh, dark feudal ages, brothels were very common. Um, yeah. With persuasive words, she led him astray. She deduced him with her smooth talk, and at once he followed her like an ox going to the slaughter, like a deer stepping into a noose till an arrow pierces his liver, like a bird darting into a snare, with little knowing it'll cost him his life. So I guess this is like, if you wanted to relate that to how like today today's world goes, this would be like um, falling for those internet ladies who like talk to you on Twitch or something like that. That's like what would be this. They like talk to you to make you feel a certain way to like give in to them. And uh, it's, it's also claiming here that it will ruin your life. Cost you your life. Literally or figuratively, metaphorically, on, I'm assuming on multiple levels. Now that my sons listen to me, pay attention to what I say. Do not let your heart turn to her ways or stray into her paths. Many are the victims she has brought down. Her slain are mighty. Her slain are a mighty throng. Her house is in the highway to the grave. Is a highway to the grave, leading down to the chambers of death. So pretty short and sweet. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Not really too much commentary to have there about that. This is just a warning against adulterous women. And if you, uh, so like, I agree, you should worry about adulterous women. And why that's important to uh, building wealth is that, like, again, I've made this claim before. I don't know very many people who uh, chase women who also store up a lot of wealth. Uh, chasing a woman, spending time on Tinder, spending time on the internet, spending time on Twitch, watching these things. These are like, at, at best, just time wasters. Uh, chasing a nut, chasing girls. Uh, all that stuff is just another form of drug uh, drug use. Um, if you're not having sex, 
in, for a bonding experience inside of a monogamous relationship, which would be the opposite of adultery. Um, you're simply doing it for a high. That same as go uh, for masturbation, etc. And these things are counterintuitive to making growing wealth. And I feel I don't know. Maybe I feel a little weird, silly talking about this, but um, drug use is not really um, associated with wealth acquisition, wealth growth, uh, accumulating wealth. It is usually um, in the realm of spending for nothing. It's chasing the dragon. You've heard. Uh, all that other stuff, like how many crackheads do you know that have a lot of wealth? How many meth heads do you know that have a lot of wealth? How many uh, cocaine addicts do you have that have a lot of wealth? The answer is not that many. Sure, there's excep- always exceptions to the rule. It's just for most situations, uh, being an adulterer and or um, a drug user, then in this instance, uh, is not going to lead you to a path of prosperity. And prosperity is just another word, like one way to be prosperous is to have a lot of value wealth. Okay. So that is short and sweet, easy peasy, lemon squeezy, straight to the point. Um, don't be tricking them hoes. Don't be uh, whatever. And um, yeah, get get your money. You know what I mean? Like the hip hop community has uh, nailed that down pretty well, but with the um, money over bitches mentality. But anyway, yeah. So that's that. I will catch you guys in a few weeks, I guess. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Hopefully, hopefully soon. See you later. Thank you for watching.